matter where you are, this is your time. No matter where you are, wake up and get up. We are the children of Israel. No matter where you are, today is the time. So I buy a way so bad day to you, my friend. Israel, this is the time. Israel, no matter where you are, this is the time. Come on, Israel. Get up. You out of the time. This day is set apart to Yahweh. Israel, do not be sad. Oh, yes. Let us rejoice and be glad. This day is a day set apart, this Sabbath day. No matter where you are, the children of Israel, come on. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia, Yahweh. Alleluia, Yahweh. La 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 Come on, Israel. Let's enter into Yahweh gate with thanksgiving. Are you are a goat or you are a sheep? Two thousand years ago, Messiah so I said that I know my sheep and my sheep know my voice. Yahweh, no matter where you are today, O house of Israel. If you are one of Yahweh chosen people, for many are called, but only few are chosen. Everything has a breath of life, all are by Yahweh creations. Remember why are by Yahweh created you for? It's for your own pleasure. We are the children of Israel. Whatever you are on the four corner of the earth, Israel, remember the Sabbath day to obey each other. God. Six days to your labor, Israel, but the seven days is the day of Yahweh, your Creator. The day your Creator, Yahweh, has been sanctified and blessed and set apart. For his own glorification. Today is Sabbath day, not Sunday, not the Lord day. Let us rejoice. Yahweh. This is not Israel, no matter where you are today. I know you are scattered all over the earth according to Yahweh word Israel. Do not be discouraged, Israel. Do you know why Abba Yahweh has been chosen you as his peculiar people? As his treasure forever. It's because Abba Yahweh want a people to worship him. The people belong to him, to praise him. Israel, the time is now before it's too late. It's a time to come out of her. Come out of her, my people. If, if you do not want to be partaker on her sins and to share in her place. The time is now, Israel. I buy our time when I run out against you. I buy our patience is about to run out, Israel. Be careful, Israel. It is a warning. It is a comment to come out of her. Come out of the Babylonian system. Birthday party. Martin Luther King birthday. Why not? 
obey the word of Abba Yahweh in Israel. Come out of her. Sunday worship, Good Friday, birthday party, Yom Atipurim, Rosh Kodesh. Good Friday, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving Day, Purim Day, Easter Day. Come out of her. Come out of this Sunday worship. Come out on the religion's deceptions. If you are the children of Israel, it is a must. Let's take the Torah, Yeshua, to our nation. Proclaim Yeshua, Israel. Israel, no matter where you are, it is a time to listen to your creator. It is a time to stop thy fighting between two opinions. If you are the children of Israel, it is a must to obey Yahweh's commandments. We are Israel. Are you are truly Israel or you are the fake one? Come on, the children of Israel, no matter where you are. To Yahweh. Come on, Israel, call Yahweh by his name is the only way for Yahweh to hear you. Israel. Come on, Israel. The Holy One, the King of Israel. Come out of her, my people. Out of her, my people. Come on, Israel. No matter where you are tonight, Israel, come on, stand to Abba Yahweh. If Abba Yahweh is your creator, he is a must, Israel. No matter where you are, no matter what you face today, Israel, is to remember the Sabbath day. To obey, set apart. Six days to your labor, Israel. But remember, the seven days is the day of Yahweh, your creator. On the Sabbath day, not you, your sons and your daughters, your male servant and your female servant, your animals, not even a stranger within your gate, don't supposed to be doing any work. Open up the door and take them out. If you love Yahweh, you must do exactly what Yahweh has asked you to do. Obey my Sabbath and reverence of my sanctuary. For I am Yahweh. Come out of her. It is a command, it's not a choice. If you love me, Obey my commandment. Come out of the Babylonian system. Come out of the pagan system. Just as birthday. Birthday is pagan by nature. What the scriptures say about of celebration of birthday? Stay on for that. Come out of birthday party, Israel. It is a warning, Abba Yahweh warning. Come on, Israel, no matter where you are. Today is Yahweh's Sabbath day. Yahweh is the part day. Are you want to receive any blessing? Are you want Yahweh to heal you? Are you want Yahweh to listen to your word? It is a time now, Israel, 
to stop thy fighting between two opinions. If Yahweh is your maker, if Yahweh is your creator, if Yahweh is your father, it is a must to call Yahweh, praise Yahweh, and thank Yahweh. This is the day. Let's walk and talk just that like Yahshua Amashiach. Let's follow the footsteps of Yahshua, the pattern of Abba Yahweh. Six days and rested on the seventh, not the first day of the week. Are you going to, are you going to walk just like Yahshua? All those who belong to Yahweh command, let's walk and talk just like Yahshua walk and talk. Let's all those who not ashamed to call Yahweh by his name. Come on. Let's walk and talk. Just that Yahshua and Mashiach walk and talk when he was living on the face of the earth. Leave us an example, a choice to be followed. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Oh yes. Let's praise in the name of Yahweh. Let's bless and praise Yahweh name forever. Come on, the children of Israel. For many are called, many are called, but only few you are chosen. No matter what you face today, Israel, remember the wave is not to destroy you, but to prepare you, to clean you, to sanctify you. To make you set apart is to take off all the dirt, all the filthiness, all your sin out of the jar. But it's not to destroy you, Israel. Do not be afraid. I am with you always, see Yahweh. So the way would not let me destroy you. But to clean you up. Or all your filthiness, or all your iniquities, or all your abomination. That's why the wave is all about in your life. It's not to destroy you. Don't be afraid. You wanna walk. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you walk. Are you want to walk just like Yahshua or you want to talk just like Obama, just like Trump, just like Lebron James, just like Jay-Z, just like Beyonce. Choose today whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh. Not Yemish, oh yes, not Yahweh, but Yahweh, Baruch Ababishem, Yahweh, this is the name, even Satan trouble when he hear the word of Yahweh, Min Le Are you want to talk, the talk, if you don't walk the walk and talk the talk, you know what's going to happen to you? One day you will find your feet inside your mouth. Ah, you know that? If you cannot walk the walk and talk the talk. Because talk is cheap. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. <laughs> it's not say I want, but it's too willing to do it. Remember, it's not the evil who gonna get the blessing, but the doer of the words. Do what Avaya we told you to do. Not hear them, but do it. Now is the time, Israel. Come on, no matter where you are, get up in your sofa. Stop whatever you are, whatever you're doing. Praise Yahweh. This is Yahweh time, Israel. Your time is over since last night. Come on, now is the time, Israel. Don't let the time pass by, Israel. Don't let it be too late. It will be too late. <laughs> the time is coming and the clock is kicking Israel. The vengeance day of Yahweh is upon the earth. The judgment day is all over. It's a time to praise Yahshua before it's too late. Start by wasting off your time with JUSUS. JUSUS don't have no power. JUSUS cannot do nothing for you. The U.S. is the name for those theologian pastors to make money. It's not really a name. It's a business name. It's a licensed business name, Jesus. Oh God. 
attribute for sake. Israel, salvation is only Yahshua Amashia Israel. Baruch Haba, Meshem Yahweh. Now is the time to say bless we come in the name of Yahweh. It's the time to know Yahshua is Yahweh. This is not about Israel for Christ is the other deception. Christ is do have for me Latin word mean Christ. Quiz means son, S U N, son. Stop by works of the son Israel. The Jewish worship the star David. Who is David to have a star? Yes. Deceptions upon deceptions. Now is the time Israel to know exactly whom to serve, whom to follow. Are you acknowledge Yahweh as your creator? If you do not, it's okay. But remember, there is a stop sign Israel. <laughs> you can drive all the way. But remember, there will be a red line. There will be a yellow line, a split second to decide if you have to push on the gas or if you have to step on the brake. Remember Israel. Yellow light is a warning. Tell you the dangers for the wet guy is coming. Do you know who is the stop sign? Yahweh. You stop, you okay, but you don't stop, you gonna be in trouble. Now is the time. It's the time for Israel. Israel, your salvation is only one way, it's only in Yahshua, not in GMH. Not in Yawasha, Yawashi, Jehovah, Adullah, Abba, Allah, Buddha. Ah, 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 ah. There's only one name, Yahushua. Yahushua. Yahushua is the author of the finish line. The builder. The stone, the builder was resting. I become the color. Yahshua Amashiach. Oh, yes. This is the name. The only name. Hamashi. Yes, this is the name, Yahushua, Yahweh salvation. Come on, Israel, get up and praise Abba Yahweh, no matter where you are. This is the time for Abba Yahweh. Abba Yahweh, I give you six days. It's the seven days is his day. Come on, let's praise. Let's worship. Let's thank Abba Yahweh. Come on. Get up, Israel. Praise your creator. If Yahweh is your creator, come on. Come on. Are you all the of Israel? Are you are the children of Satan? Uh huh. Come on, get up and preach that way. Don't be ashamed. If you, Yahshua say, if any man deny him before men, he will deny them also before the Father who are in paradise. Come on. Are you are the two children one? Are you are ashamed to praise Yahweh? Why Yahweh will swear you to her? Are you are the children of Israel or you are the children of Satan? There is only two seed, the seed of Satan and the seed of Abraham. I will make an enmity between that seed and your seed, between the woman's seed and your seed. There is only two seed, Satan's seed or Abraham's seed. Come on. Yahweh salvation. Israel, you hear that? Yahshua. The meaning of Yahshua, he is Yahweh salvation, Israel. Yahshua, the only known. You can receive salvation, you can receive eternal life, Israel. Are you are only the children of Israel, you are the children of Satan. I don't think you are the children of Israel, because if you are, you only obey Yahweh commandments. Stop by rebel against our by Yahweh. To walk over the word saying. Not debate from the word, but do it. Just do it. Be obedient. Uh -huh. Yahshua. Yahweh salvation. Uh -huh. Oh yes. Is. Are you a really the children of Israel? Are you a uh, the seed of Satan? You remember? 
In a situation of the verse 15, I bear we see. I will make a enmity between your seed and the woman's seed. There is only to see. Oh yes, <laughs> that way. That way. Are you already Israel? Come on. No matter where you are. Put all your problem outside. Open up the door right now, Israel. Put all your problem, all your dilemma outside the door. See, now is the time for me to worship my Creator. Let me worship you to in spirit and the truth. Let our by our way urge you today. Come on, Israel. Are you want to receive blessings? Are you want Yahweh to heal you? And what you ashamed to praise our by way? Why you don't praise our by way? Why you don't sing for our by way? Why you don't dance for our by way? Why you think our by way create you? For your own pleasure? Why you are ashamed? Why you are afraid of praise our by way? Did our by way is your creator? Do our by way bless you with the birth of life? And why you ashamed? You don't want to your friend to see you are praise Yahweh. Oh, what to you hypocrites, Pharisees? Uh -huh. Come on now. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody listen to that song? Ah. By the way, if anybody wants to have a CD of that music, is free for you. Just send an address. And it's going to be yours free. Without no cost. No charge. Uh-huh. Really? Oh, many of you who have the same spirit of root. We are? Are you are truly Israel? Because it's not of the descendant of Israel who are Israel. You know that, right? Ishmael was not under the covenant. So he is not Israel. Esau is not under the covenant. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Tell them, come on. Uh -huh. Yeshua Hamashiach. Uh -huh. We are... Many of you who think they are Israel, but they are not Israel. <laughs> it's not all the descendants of Israel who are Israel, my friend. Stop by deceiving yourself. I bet we see in you know, those who are is. Mr. Ashwa see, I choose you. You are not the one who chosen me. If anyone thinking they can choose themselves, you are invincible, my friend. Yeshua as the one who have to change and to call you. Mr. Yeshua say, I'm the one who called you out of this world. You don't call me, I call you out. That those elders, those pastors, those ministers, those rabbis, those spiritual leaders, they are the one who call themselves out. For them, for them to make them money. Pastors, ministers, is a way to make them money. For many are called. But only if you are chosen. Come out of her, my people. Come out from the religion deception. Come out from the Babylonian confusion. Babylon mean confusion. Babel, Babylonians mean confusion. America is the land of confusion. Everybody are confused. From the greatest to the smallest. All of them are confused. Everywhere you go is nothing but confusion. Yeshua, no other name, my friend, above any man can receive salvation. Only Yeshua. Are you are one of the sons of Israel yourself? You are a fake Israel. 
with because of the sake of money that you are the seat of Satan, the seat of the serpent, not the seat of Abraham. If you do are the seat of Abraham, you will be obedient to that Abraham was obedient to Abba Yahweh. Oh yes, uh -huh. Yeshua, Yahweh salvation. Jesus means Yahweh salvation. About Yahweh, Yahweh means Yahweh. Come on, Israel. It is a time now to get your acts together. To praise our by Yahweh and spirit and the truth. If you love Yahweh, it is a time. Don't let the patience of Yahweh run out of you. The time is coming. Yahweh will be striking. You're going to send the red horses very soon. Take peace all over the earth. You're going to kill each other. Are you on that time or you want to repent? Repentance is the key of the living life. Are you want to do it now or you want to wait? Uh -huh. Rejoice, O Zion. Rejoice, O Yahweh Shalom. For your king is soon to come. I do not know when. <laughs> but it is coming. I know his patience is running out on you. Are you are Israel? You are Israel. Abba Yahweh say, I will make a enmity between your seed and the woman's seed. So that's only two seed. It's whether you are Satan's seed, you're doing the will of Satan, you obey Satan, you follow Satan, you listen to Satan, or you are the seed of Abraham, you listen to whatever Yahweh has commanded you and say. My brothers, my sisters, the followers, the viewers, no matter where you are, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. And peace be into thee. To all my Israelites, brothers and sisters, no matter where you are, it is always be a blessing. It is always being a privilege to be among you today. To celebrate Yahweh's the part day, to honor and to rejoice in Yahweh set the part day. Abba Yahweh, I thank you for the privilege, for the honor you give me an order to represent you on this wicked world. Abba Yahweh, hear all your people. Those Abba Yahweh who has been deceived and misled and lied to. Those are by our way who has been confused because the way they taught them and teach them. Are by our way in your word you say you know all those who are belong to you. You say all those who are belong to you, you make sure you put them in your hands, in your palm of your hand, and no one can snatch them out of your hand. Abba Yahweh, today is your certain part day. Today is a commemoration of your independence when you create everything. You say you create everything in six days and you rest it on the seven days. Not even you are rested, you are refreshed also. Not even you are refreshed, but you bless also the seven days. Not even you bless the seven days, you set apart the seven days. Not even you set apart the seven days, but you sanctify the seven days. Not even you sanctify the seven days, but you allow the seven days. See, if you love me, if you love me, obey, obey my commandments. If you love me, obey my commandments and remain in my love just as I obey my father's commandments and remain in his love. There is only one way to remain in Messiah's love is to be obedient. If you are disobedient, my friends, you know what you're going to receive, right? A bunch of curses, sickness, disease, plagues. Especially for those who know the truth but are refused to walk in according to the truth. 
The Sabbath day is not a joke. The Sabbath day is not a fun. It's not the day for you to enjoy. The Sabbath day is a day to please Yahweh, to worship Yahweh, to praise Yahweh, to thank Yahweh, to be grateful to Yahweh. That's the reason why Yahweh says six days do your labor. The seven days is the day with more dedicated only to Yahweh. My friend, for almost 6,000 years until today, the children of Israel, humanity, has never want to listen to Yahweh. But anything men tell them to do, they say, yes, sir. They do it. But everything Yahweh said to them, it's just, hear that and go out. They say it, but they say, I don't care about this. But whatever men say. Because they see Trump, they scare Trump, they see Obama, they scare Obama. Now they don't even care for the police. It's why this generation is the adultery and vapor generations. Have no compassion, no love, no mercy, no respect, nothing for nobody. Because the system make them just like the animals. Not even the animal, because a dog knows his honor. A dog protects his honor. No dog gonna buy his honor if the dog is crazy. Maybe the dog doing something you know not supposed to be. So this is the time for the children of Israel to realize. Whatever they are doing, you're thinking that we don't see you. <laughs> don't be deceived of yourself. Don't waste of your tears. Whatever you do to yourself, anyone, listen carefully, anyone who know what is why and does not do it is a sin. Anyone, no exception, who knows what is right and yet doesn't do them is a sin. Abba Yahweh, I thank you to come in and your support day and your blessing day because I want your blessing. I want it. Oh yes, I want more and more. Give me more Abba Yahweh. Abba Yahweh is your people. Abba Yahweh is the viewer, the listeners. No matter where you are today, may Abba Yahweh bless you. If you are willing to be obedient, that's only one way. Abba Yahweh don't bless anybody or everybody. Abba Yahweh only bless those who obey his commandment. Those pastors, those ministers, those elders, those rabbis, those spiritual leaders, they are not blessed. They just reward by Satan. There's a big difference between blessings and reward. Because Abba will say, if you obey my commandment, I will bless you. But those pastors do not obey our commandments. They don't bless. They are rewarded by Satan by doing Satan dirty works. But they don't bless. Cliff Dollar, T.D. Jake. All our wives, all those NTBM, those televised pastors, those edit pastors, there is no bless for them. They are cursed because they're going to hell because the name already written in hell. The lake of fire waiting for them because they're not going to be weapon because the lifestyle suggests $65 million airplane. So they, they're going to, to hell. So there is no way they're going to be repent because they're not going to give up the lifestyle. I don't have one. My friends, my beloved, if we all want to go to paradise, but no one of you want to conduct yourself to follow the instruction, the commitment, do you think heaven is free if there is a heaven? It's not free. There is nothing free. You think Yahweh will give me the gift is give it to me free? No. I'm slave of Yahweh. I'm not slave to no man, but I'm slave to Yahweh. Because I'm minister to Yahweh 24-7. I have no time to stop working. I have no time to stop working. I'm working continually. So thanks to Yahweh, I'm not be a slave to men, but I'm slave to Abba by Yahweh. I'm not a slave to no men, but I'm slave to Yahweh. You have a time to go to work. You have a time to get off. I don't have no time to go to work. I don't have no time to get off. Working all times because Yahweh working all times. That is the problem between a differences between a servant of Satan and a servant of Yahweh. I will keep me busy and doing his will because his people need his salvation. They want to know the truth. 
There is only one way, it's Yahushua. It's not by TMA, it's not by Yawasha, it's not by Wawachi. It's not by Adonai, it's not by Buddha or Allah or Jehovah or Jesus or God or Lord. But it's only one way, it's Yahushua. If anyone do not call upon Yahshua, my friends, you are wasting of your time. You're going to hell. I'm telling you. You're going to hell. Because if you do not know me, how can you can call me by my name? You know, sometimes somebody call you. You say, you have, can I speak to Paul? You get the wrong number. Crap. Can I speak to Kefa? You get the wrong number. Crap. You don't even ask that person, what can I help you? But you just say wrong number. But it's not about the wrong number. It's about the person asks for the wrong person. Just like Yahweh, if you call TMH, Yahweh not going to answer you. It's not about the number is wrong. It's about the name you call upon. It's wrong name. There is nobody by that name. Wrong name, not wrong number. Change it. It's not wrong number. It's a wrong name. The people say you have a wrong number. No, no, no. If the person call you, that means that person have the right number. But the person call upon the wrong name. Reverse it. You get the wrong name, Bob. Okay? Not wrong number. Wrong name. If you call upon Yawashi, Yawawa, Yawa, Yawashi, Aya, Aya, Jehovah, Yahweh not going to listen to you. That's the reason why I buy Yahweh say, if my people who are calling by my name, not names, not title, not attribute, and bore themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then, 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 if my people, you have to be Yahweh people. If you are Satan people, you don't have no obligation. Yahweh don't care about you because you don't care about Yahweh. Yahweh don't love you. Yahweh only love those who love him. Don't listen to your pastors, to your ministers, to your elders. Say, Yahweh love everybody. That's not true. Because Yahweh say, I hate Esau and I love Yahakov. Yahweh say, there is a time to love and a time to hate. So Yahweh never say, you love everybody. Which scripture say, love everybody. And then by the way, the love of Yahweh is to obey his commitments, not to disrespect him. So all those as a bunch of twisting the scripture, misinterpretation, in order for them to get your money. But I don't want to get your money. I don't have no life. The life I'm living is not for me. It's Yeshua life. I'm not living no more for me. Then you do have no will. Then you do have no life. The life I'm living now is for Yeshua. I don't live in the life of Daniel. Then you do have no will. Then you do have no life. So now it's Yahshua is living in me. I'm not living in Daniel. Whatever you heard, you heard it from Yahshua, not me. You just see my mouth speaking, but I'm not the one. It's your Savior. I want you to know the truth. My beloved, may Abba Yahweh be with you. Abba Yahweh, thank you. To bring us here, I know it's a long day. But you give them six days, Abba Yahweh. And we we'll finish your Sabbath day. 6,000 years humanity has been disobeyed to you. They are refused to obey your word. They are refused to follow your footstep. They are refused to follow the pattern of your words. Abba Yahweh, all your creations, all the angels and the power that is now, they are worship you and praise you. All your creations. All your creation do exactly what you was created them to do. But except men, as they say, mankind, mankind, just like the animals. The animal has more recognition and it's the man. Because amen, you give, you give, you give, oh, you are a good man, you are a good woman. But the day you say you can't, you're in trouble. <laughs> but the animals... You give that to them, they please, they're happy. If they don't give to them, to hey, they still love you the same way. But men, one day, they don't care if you give them for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. But the day you say, I don't have, I can't. Hey, that day, you in trouble, my friend. But the animals, they still love you the same. They don't change. Abba Yahweh, today is your day. 
Today is your commemoration of your independence, of your creations. That's the reason why you see the Sabbath day is the only sign between you and the children of Israel forever. There is a lot of people taken by changing up their names, but do not observe and obey Yahweh's commandments. They automatically go enter into paradise. No, you're going to enter into the lake of fire. Hell is waiting for you, my friend. I'm telling you the truth. I know you do not like the truth. Hey, I'm telling you, it's better you repent or you go to hell. That's it. That's the way it is. Point blank. They say, so I say if you abide in my words, you are indeed my disciple. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That is only one way for you to set free. It's only to Yahshua Amashiach. But if you think Satan, TM is Yahweh, Yahweh, whatever name, your pastors, your elders, your ministers, those thieves, Israel united for Christ, the Son. So you're not going to go nowhere because they're going to hell. They're working for Satan. Yahweh don't send them. Why do they not call Yahweh by his name? If my people who are calling by my name, do they call by Yahweh names? Think about it. Use common sense. If my people, use 2 Chronicles 7, chapter verse 14. If my people who are calling by my name and then thinking what it means to you, then give me a call. Make me know what is your understanding about it. If my people who are calling by my name. So if you are Yahweh people, you don't call him by his name, something's wrong with you. So you must call him by his name. You must acknowledge him as the creator. You must observe the Sabbath day. How can you have a father? You have a creator. And you are ashamed of calling him by his name? Hello. If you have a father, do his name is in your birth certificate? Let me see your birth certificate. If I see our name in it. Yahweh's name is in my birth certificate. Not even it's in my birth certificate. Look at this. It's all over. Yahushua, Yahweh. It's all over me because it's my father. Do Yahweh is your father? Let me see your birth certificate. Show me your birth certificate. I will show you mine. Yahweh is my father. How about you? God is your father, right? TMH is your father. Yahweh Yahweh Because they are, the, they are the one you are worship. The God of this world is your father. My friends, the time is now. And the clock is kicking. I pray that you don't let Abba Yahweh time, patience, run out of you. Because you're not going to like it. Not even for you, but for your generation to come. Abba Yahweh is very vengeful. Abba Yahweh, whoever you have ears to hear, please, let them hear what you have to say to your children of Israel. Those who are scattered away on the four corners of the earth. Those who are victimized by lies and deceptions from those religious leaders. Those are by Yahweh who are seeking. Those are by Yahweh who are thirsty for your word. Those are by Yahweh who are hungry are by Yahweh. They want to eat your words. They want to drink the fountain of water. Because Yahshua is a woman. If you know who asking you for that water, you will give it to Because I have a water. If you drink that water, you will never be thirsty again. Woman says, sir, please give me that water. Are you want this water today? Are you want it in Yahweh manner from directly cooking from paradise and sending it to you? Don't. Let's see what Abba Yahweh has to say. We call to the church trap of Israel, no matter where you are, to repent from your wicked ways. Is it time for Abba Yahweh? Be done on earth as it is right now in paradise. Give us our daily bread and bless all those who will listen to your word, Abba Yahweh. Open up their mind, Abba Yahweh. Listen to the voice, listen to the words. Abba Yahweh, you know everybody inside and outside. Before you even put them in the mother wombs, you already knew them. Abba Yahweh, please. Every way to every compassion, to every mercy. Because your people have been misled, have been deceived. And you make it that way. Because you was mad at them. 
You send a spirit of delusion in order for them to believe in lies. Abaya ah, with the nature. With our shield to remove that spirit of delusion. With our shield to remove that spirit of confusions. They cannot do it in their own. They need you, Abaya. Ah, Please, every mercy, every compassion. I know you have a mercy to whom you choose to have a mercy. I know you have a comp compassion to whom you choose. But only one thing I can remind you are by Yahweh. I know you're not going to forget the covenant you make with Abraham, Yitzhak, and Israel. You say you're going to make a remnant to the children of Israel no matter what. And I know now is a time for the restorations of the children of Israel. Is it time for the awakening? That's the reason why you send your servant after 1900 years. Israel never gave your commitment. Israel has never had you in the midst of them. Israel has never have your commitment. If Yahweh has never have your word. And Israel has never have a Levites and a priest for over 1900 years. I thank you, Abba Yahweh. Thank you for everything. Abba Yahweh, open up my lips. May my mouth may declare your praise in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba. The Abba of our fathers. The Abba of Abraham. The father of Yitzhak. The father of Yahakov. Become Israel. The great almighty and handsome creator. Who bestow grace and create all. And remember the kindness of the fathers and bring a redeemer to their children, children, for Yahweh name's sake with love. Yahweh King, helper, savior, and shield of Abraham. Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you, Abba Yahweh, to be favorable to your, your people, Israel. I'm asking you to turn the prayer and restore the service to Yahweh, the set apart place of your temple. It's pretty accept the fine offering of Israel and their prayer with love and favor. And may the service of your people, Israel, always be favorable to you, Yahweh, my rock and my redeemer. O Yahweh, our Abba, the Abba of our Father, may you be pleased with, our, with the children of Israel rest. Sanctify the children of Israel and your commandments and grant the children of Israel your portion and your Torah Satisfy the children of Israel from your goodness. Make the children of Israel rejoice in your salvation. Purify the children of Israel my and hard to serve you and truth. And love and favor. Yahweh, our Abba. Grant the children of Israel your set apart Shabbat. As an heritage. And may Israel who sanctify your name Yahweh. West their end. Blessed are you Yahweh who sanctify the Shabbat in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Let's just be grateful thanks to Abba Yahweh, no matter where you are today. Israel, this is a time. Abba Yahweh, the father of our fathers for all eternity. Our work, the work of our lives, shield of our salvation. Are you are from generation to generation? You must thank Yahweh and relate Yahweh praise in our lives, which are committed to your power. And for our soul are by Yahweh that are unjust to you. For your miracles that are with us in everything, and for your wonders and favors. In every season, evening, morning, and afternoon, the beautiful one, Yahweh, for your compassion, will never be exhausted. And the compassionate one, Yahweh, for your kindness will never be ended. For we have always put our hope in you. For all these things, may your name, Yahweh, be blessed, exalted, extolled. Our Melech of Israel, continually, forever and ever. Everything in life will be gratefully acknowledge you, Yahweh, and praise and bless your great name, sincerely, forever. For it is good, O Yahweh, of our salvation, and help, help Yahweh, the benevolent Yahweh. Abba Yahweh, please listen to your servant. 
request behalf of your people Israel who are on the four corner of the earth. I'm asking you to establish shalom, goodness, blessing, life, graciousness, kindness, and compassion upon us and upon all your people Israel. Bless us, Yahweh, our Abba, all of us as one. With the lie of your continents, with the lie of your continents, you give us the Torah, Yeshua Amasyak. Most people say, I read the Torah. I know the Torah, but they don't even know what the meaning of the Torah. Yeshua Amasyak is the Torah. The Torah of life. The Torah of love. Goodness. Righteousness. Blessing. Compassion. Life and shalom. May it be good in your eyes are by your way to bless us. And to bless all your people Israel. And every season. And every hour. With your shalom. With your abundant strength and shalom. Blessed are you Yahweh. Who bless his people Israel. With shalom. With peace. My brothers and sisters. The royal family of Israel, no matter where you are today, let us magnify and sanctify the great name of Yahweh. And the earth, which are created according to Yahweh will, may Yahweh establish his kingdom during your life and during your days and during the life of the whole house of Israel, even swiftly and soon. And let's say, Allel, Allel. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Let Yahweh's great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Bless, praise, sanctify, and glorify, exalted, extolled, and honor, and Lord be the name of Yahweh, the set apart one. Blessed is to the highest Yahweh above, and the blessing and songs and praise and consolations which are uttered in the earth. And let's say, Allel, Allel, Lu Yahweh. May Yahweh who make peace, and his eyes place make peace upon us and upon all his people, his Ryan. It is our duty to praise Yahweh, the master of all, to ascribe greatness to the author of creation. For Yahweh has made the children of Israel unlike the people of the land, and has not placed the children of Israel like the families of the earth. Yahweh has not made the children of Israel portions like this, and the children of Israel like, like all these multitudes. And we bend the knee and bow and acknowledge our thanks before Yahweh, the King of Kings, the short part one. Bless be Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. Yahweh is straight out the paradise and established earth foundations. In the seat of Yahweh's theme, he is the paradise above, and the presence of Yahweh power it is the most exalted height. Yahweh is our Abba. Yahweh is our Maker. And Yahweh is our Father. There is none other. True is our Melech. There is nothing beside Yahweh. As it is written in Yahweh Torah. And you shall know this day. And high in your mind. That Yahweh is the only creator. And the paradise above. And on the earth below. There is none, none other. And he said, Yahweh shall be me like all over the earth. On that day, I do not know, but it is coming. On that day, Yahweh will be one. And Yahweh name, not names, Yahweh name will be also one. There is none like Yahweh our Abba. There is none like Yahweh our Master. There is none like Yahweh our King. There is none like Yahweh our Deliverer. 
who is that you, O Yahweh? Who is that Yahweh, our master? Who is that Yahweh, our deliverer? Who is just that Yahweh, our Melek of Israel? Let us give it thanks to Yahweh, our Abba. Let us give thanks to Yahweh, our master. Let us give it thanks to Yahweh, our king. Let us give it thanks to Yahweh, our deliverer, our salvation. Blessed be Yahweh, our Abba. Blessed be our Blessed be Yahweh, our master. Blessed be Yahweh, our Melech of Israel. Blessed be Yahweh, our salvation, our deliverer. You are Yahweh, our Abba. You are Yahweh, our master. You are Yahweh, our Melech of Israel. You are Yahweh, our salvation. You are Yahweh, our deliverer. You are Yahweh to whom our fathers offer before you, Yahweh the fragrant and sins. My beloved, today is the day of Abba Yahweh. And after all seas to be Yahweh alone with winds and unsummers. And Yahweh was, and Yahweh is, and Yahweh shall be eternally and a splendor. And Yahweh is, there is no beginning. And Yahweh, there is no second to compare to Yahweh. No, to be a call without beginning and without end. Yahweh, the power and dominions. And Yahweh is my Abba, my living redeemer, and the work of my pain in time of trouble. And Yahweh is my banner and refuse for me the portion of my cup, and the day I call on Yahweh, and Yahweh hands, I'm unjust my spirit, and the time I'm asleep, or I'm awake, and with my spirit, my body, Yahweh is with me, I shall not fear. The six days the paradise and the earth were completed, and the entire areas and on the seven days, Yahweh finished the work of his hand. And Yahweh rested on the seventh day from all the work he has done. And Yahweh blessed the seventh day, not the first day of the week. And made the Sabbath day set apart. Because on the Sabbath, Yahweh rested from all his work that Yahweh created and did. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Abba, King of the universe, who has sanctified the children of Israel with his commitment and taken delight in the children of Israel with love and favor. They set apart Shabbat as an heritage and remembers for the works of creation. For it is the beginning of our set apart convocation a memorial of Exodus for Mitzrayim. For you have chosen the children of Israel are by Yahweh, and you have sanctified the children of Israel from all the people on earth. And you give the children of Israel your set apart Shabbat with love and favor as an atheist. Blessed are you, Yahweh, who sanctify this Shabbat. Baruka Taya we Elohe no Melek Ala Uram Ache. Pisano Memis Darwek. Blessed are you, Yahweh, King of the universe, who bring forth bread from the earth. My beloved, may this question of my mouth and the thought of my heart fall fever before you, Yahweh, my work and my redeemer, in the name of Yahshua Amasiah. Now, it is a time for the Kedusha Hashem Yahweh. It is a time now for the Kedusha Hashem Yahweh. Every head must be covered. Every name shall put it that Yahshua Amashia he is Yahweh. Whoever wants to receive the Kedusha Hashem Yahweh must cover the head. It is a must. It's not a choice. If you have a choice, the choice you have, you're not going to receive no blessing at that sound. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Kedusha, the sanctification, Hashem, the of the name, Yahweh is the name. 
anyone need a talay, the head cover. If you are of the house of Israel, if you are of the Jehovah Witness, you don't need it. If you are a Christian, you don't need it. If you are one of a denomination, demonization, demonized, you don't need it. But if you are of the house of Israel, you need a tally. Yeshua Amashiach was a tally. All his disciples was a tally. All the prophet, all the turbant, the turbant, the, the translated from tally. I have the turbant, but I have the tally too. So I need the turbant, I need the tally. This is the turbant. The name of Yahweh is the, the seal of Yahweh right there. And Yahushua Hamashiach. So to know, who am I? It's not a coincidence. It's not an accident. When Yahweh said to Daniel, go sleep. In the time, they come. I will send another Daniel to tell them the truth. It's not the truth. It's the time now for the children of Israel to start by listening to Yahweh. Be obedient. That's only one way to survive the tribulation and the great tribulation to come. If you're not obedient, you and that step down at the same place. You don't even realize that. Kai Kedusha Hashem Yahweh. If anyone want to receive the blessing, the sanctification of Yahweh, whatever is close to you, you can take your shirt, you can take anything, cover your head, but if your head is not covered, I'm telling you, I don't send you a message, I'm telling you, not by my power, not by my mind, but the Ruach HaKadosh. According to Yahweh, word, you're not going to receive any blessing. Because you're not obedient to Yahweh. You're not going to receive any. I'm saying that once, twice, third time, four times, fifth time, six times, seven times. Ata Kadosh Vishim Kadosh. You kedoshim bekelyom you aruka Yahweh. Ki ermire kadol. Vikadash ata. Baruk ata Yahweh. A er akadosh. Ata kadosh vishim kadosh. You kedoshim bekelyom you aruka Yahweh. Ki ermire kadol. Vikadash ata. Baruk ata Yahweh. A er akadosh. Yahweh, you are set apart, and your name Yahweh is set apart, and set apart one praise you every day, every day, forever. For you are Yahweh, the great and set apart Melech of Israel. Blessed are you, Yahweh, the set apart creator, set apart Abba. You are Yahweh, your name Yahweh is set apart. And your name, Yahweh, is set apart. And set apart one. The one you choose. The one you bless. The one you put set apart. Praise you every day. Not every Sabbath. Forever. For you are Yahweh. The great and set apart Melech of Israel. Blessed are you, Yahweh. The set apart creator. The set apart father. The set apart Melech. And the name... Of Yeshua Amashiach. Hallelujah. My beloveds, Shabbat Shalom to all of you. May Abba Yahweh be with all of you. May Abba Yahweh sanctify you with his tune. For Yahweh's word is truth. Today, the children of Israel have been misled and deceived for almost 2,000 years of religion deceptions. So, we're going to see how, if Abba will give the children of Israel the power and authority to celebrate the birthday. Should the children of Israel celebrate the birthday? Most people, perhaps, they know it's okay to celebrate the birthday. Let's see what the scripture has to say about of celebrating a birthday let's see what does the scripture say about celebrations of the birthday shalom every year many will celebrate a day that is known as birthday 
with friends, families, parties, decorations, balloons, receiving gifts, and singing of our people day. With cake that typically would have candles that one is to blow out and of a wish to receive that year. What many believe is a harmless days to celebrate and give thanks for being in this world for one whole year. But it is celebration for being harmless and acceptable in Yahweh's sight for those who consider themselves someone to enter its kingdom or perhaps will those who celebrate their birthday will be denied to enter Yahweh kingdom. Yes. You are invited as you dive in throughout scripture and to discover if birthday celebration is acceptable by Yahweh your creator. Why do we celebrate birthdays? The idea of celebrating the date of your birth is a pagan tradition. In fact, many Christians did celebrate birthday historically because of the link to paganism. Pagan thought the evil spirit link and one day of water change like the days your turn year old. The first historical mention of the birthday celebration is found on the scripture. When we take the book of Genesis 40 chapter verse 10, and he explained to you the first people who ever celebrate his birthday and what was happening. The idea of celebrating the date of your birth is a pagan tradition. Pagan thought that evil spirit lock it. One day of major change, like the day your time is year older. The ancient Greeks believed that the each person had the spirit that attend he on a bird and keep watching them is a lies and deception. Why almost all the people of Israel accept the practice today? Jehovah Witness has some set apart name group refrain from celebrating birthdays. Due to the custom pagans, origins, its connections to magic and superstitions. The Happy Birthday Song was written in 1859. The Happy Birthday Song was written in 1859. So why before? Hundreds of millions around the world actually look forward to celebrate the birthday. What are the origins of a birthday? Which traditions you will be surprised and what the scripture has to say about birthday. Where did our people the originally from? From the scripture or from the pagan analysis? What is the real origin of our people day? What did the scripture say about birthday? Why do people think that celebrating birthday is wonderful is acceptable why do you think about that why you think about your birthday is okay to celebrate do you find any scripture that says okay most people never reflect on why they believe what they believe or do what they do we live in the world filled with pagan custom and traditions but few ever seek to understand the origin of birthday celebrating. We generally accept birthday celebration without questions. Most people basically do what everyone else does because it is easy and natural. We will see that our Bible will plenty command the children of Israel follow not the way of the heathens. In the book of Jeremiah 10 chapter verse 2, 
follow not the way of the hidden. But of many people, most people do not fear Yahweh. They do whatever their own decisions, mankind taken or been taught, that they are fine, they are free of moral agents to obey or disobey Yahweh. But woe to those who ignore the plain word of Yahweh. Woe to those who are ignore the plain word of Yahweh. The scripture states that Adam lived 930 years. No birthday record of celebrating birthday records. Adam lived for 930 years. Can anybody show how many times Adam celebrated his birthday? 930 years. Why Adam did not celebrate his birthday? And, but, if the scripture, but if you accept the last pen of Adam, immediately descendants as typically their son's reason to believe that Eve was not in the 900 years wait originally answer what age did Eve die the scripture does not say given the age of others during that time Enoch died over 700 years no birthday party or celebrations are recorded on the scripture set live on the age of 912 years no birthday celebrations has been recorded on the scripture abraham died at age of 175 years old no birthday celebrations has been recorded to abraham who died 175 years old Sarai was that at age of 127 years old. There is no record on the scripture whatsoever. Those people have been celebrated their birthday. Isaac, Yitzhak, died at age of 180 years. Nowhere on the scripture mentioned that Isaac, Yitzhak, the son of Abraham, who celebrate his birthday not even once in his lifetime. Yaakov died at age of 147 years. As our forefathers, how many times Yaakov become Israel celebrate his birthday? None has been recorded according to the scriptures. Joseph, the son of Yaakov, has died at 111 years old. There is no birthday celebrations are recorded according to the scripture. Moshe died at age of 120 years. There is no record whatsoever according to the word of Yahweh, according to the scripture. Moshe was even celebrated his birthday not even one time. When we take the book of Job, who died at age at 110 years. No record of the birthday celebrations every year. Messiah Shua died at age of 33. How many times it teaches us to celebrate our birthday? If we have to follow the footsteps of Yahshua, did Yahshua, Amashiach, celebrate his birthday if we have to follow if Yahshua are coming for us to follow he leave an example for us to follow how many times Yahshua Amashiach celebrate his birthday why we must celebrate birthday when Adam live 930 years the scripture never say how many times our buyer will say Adam it's okay to celebrate your birthday 
our birthday celebration is for the children of Israel. Are they are of pagans or they are of Yahweh? Birthday cake, lighting candies, singing our pre birthday, receiving gifts, and almost every culture and nation on earth. Virtually nothing is at anniversary celebrated as birthday, but it is a birthday keeping scriptural. Does Yahweh agree with this practice? Where is that on the scripture? I saw as dead in taxes. All human beings are born on a particular day. Everyone has a birthday. Says Yahweh want people to celebrate life abundantly, John 10.10, 10. could this include of celebrating birthday? Is birthday keeping innocent fun? Or does Yahweh hate it? Does Yahweh even matter and those who want to celebrate their birthday? If you buy a new computer, will you expect it to come with an instruction manual? Without a manual, you will have to learn how to use it through trials and error. And possible delayed necessary file and software in the process. The instruction manual saves users many edits. Believe it or not, you also came with an instruction manual. The scripture Yahweh is with end purpose is written throughout its pages. Every, every word of scripture is Yahweh's message to you. Who you are, what you are, why he creates you, and how Yahweh expects you to conduct your life. Everything you need to know about the true purpose of life is written in Yahweh's word in the scripture. My friend, when you read the scripture, Yahweh is talking to you. Yahweh show you how to live a set apart, fulfilling, abundant life. Pick up your instruction manual book, is your scripture, and examine what Yahweh say about birthday. Birthday is in the scripture. Birthday celebration are mentioned in the scripture on four occasions. In one occasion, in each case, something terrible occur. This four occasions count be brief examinations. My friends, the first hour in Genesis, Pharaoh, the Egyptian king, celebrated his birthday. In the book of Genesis 40, 40 what was happened in that day, Pharaoh headed it, his chief baker, his cup burning, he hanged it on the tree, he killed him. That is the first time on the scripture ever. The king fell on the Genesis 40, 40, said that he killed his own bigotive. My friends, Yahweh understand Joseph a special understanding of a dream by Pharaoh Butler and Baker that the baker will lose his life three days after Joseph interpreted the dream. Joseph understood that Pharaoh will use this occasion, his own birthday party, to put his baker to death. As the dream has foretold, the baker was hung on the party. In the second account of the New Testament figure, a word the strategists were reluctance it, other when they be adding John the Baptist head. When you took the book of Matthew 14, chapter verse 3, notice that. But when Edward birthday was kept doing the dancing and merrymaking and his birthday party, the word get carried away and eventually made a promise that he did not want to keep. As a result, a great servant of Yahweh lost its life. John the Baptist. The final account is found in the book of Job. 
The Bible said that Job seven son went and feasted in the house. Everyone is there and sent a call to a three sisters, to their sisters, and to eat and drink with them. Job first chapter verse four. This party were obviously not sent to be out on any kind of celebration related to Yahweh. It was a birthday. My friends, Absorb would not have worried that his children may have sinned during this celebration of birthday party. Job was not exactly sure what was going on in the mind. But the very birthday celebration of the very celebration of their birthday triggered great concern of him. Verse 5. Apparently during the birthday party of Job or the son, Yahweh Satan to kill all ten of Job's children to what appeared to be a tornado. Are we here that? Let me see that again. Throughout the scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, there is three occasions happens. People celebrating the birthday. Only three times people celebrate their birthday. The first one it was Pharaoh. Pharaoh killed his own baker. At the dream, as for Tor Baker as wronged and the party on the birthday Pharaoh party. And the second account, and the Renew Testament figure, Ewald, King Ewald, treats us with the other the way, the bedheading of John the Baptist's head. In the book of Matthew, 14, chapter verse 3. But when Ewald's birthday was kept during the dancing and merry, making of his birthday party, and promised that he did not want to keep. As a result, a great servant of Yahweh, John the Baptist, lost his life. The final account is found in the book of Job. The scripture said that Job's seventh son went and feasted in the houses. Everyone is day. That means birthday. Everyone and his day. That means birthday. And call for their three sisters, for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. Job first chapter verse four. This party were obviously not sent to our own any kind of celebration related to Yahweh. Or Job would not have worried that his children may have sinned during this celebration of birthday party. My friends, listen and take a note. But Job was very curious with concern in him. Verse 5, apparently, during the birthday party of Job older sons, Yahweh Allah said to kill all the ten of Job's children to what appeared to be a tornado. All the ten sons, the ten children, Yahweh killed them. Yahweh sent Satan, killed them. But it was not Satan, it was Yahweh. Yahweh killed them. Because Yahweh was tired. Because every time they are doing that, Job has to make a burnt sacrifice for them. Yahweh said, you know, enough is enough. There is only three occasions, from Genesis to Revelation, only three people, they telling you an account of celebrating of their birthday, and those three occasions, something terrible happened. The king fell, hanging the thief of bakers, and the cup bearings. John the Baptist's head has been cut off and put on the platter to send to Eodia who was dense for the king award. And Job's children, ten children, seven sons and three daughters, because of celebrating of the birthday, Yahweh was met at this time and he killed them just that appeared to be a tornado. What example today? You all over the world, you, when you see your parents never celebrate their birthday, 
and you think it's okay for you to celebrate your birthday you better be very careful it is a warning it is a comment to all of you those who never know about yahweh when yahweh said no he said no and oh no you must listen or you're all gonna pay the consequences the same way yahweh don't be hesitated to kill john seven son and the three his three daughters yahweh not gonna be scared to kill your daughters and your son also if they keep on doing the same abomination against him in the time of ignorance i buy our way of a look at it now now is the time i buy our command it every man no matter where you are no matter what you're doing it is a time to stop by celebrate your birthday you do not know who you are you do not know how old are you why celebrating your birthday if adam lived for over 930 years there is no record on the scripture state that adam will celebrate his birthday and why you celebrate your birthday we can go on and on the list about our patriots they told you set live for 912 years the son of adam said 912 years where is the record is celebrate his birthday none they told you that noah died at the age of 950 years how many times the scripture recorded that noah would celebrate his birthday show me where it is prove all things according to the book of first thessalonians 5 chapter verse 21 state that prove all things and offer us is what is good you think by celebrating your daughters your son birthday by let them do whatever they want when you know the truth and you are refused to walk in and to obey our words now it's the last warning for all of you no matter where you are if you take any chances to celebrate your birthday that's going to be the last day you will ever live in your life no matter who you are it's a warning it's a comment and our by our way patient is run out of all of you my friends they skip to say abraham died at the age of 175 years old if abraham was live as 175 years old if abraham was up by our best friend why they skip to never say where they stay with their birthday drinking and party my friend Footer proof that this birthday celebration displeased Yahweh is found in Job 3 chapter. Take time to read to enter chapter carefully. Job is spent much time cursing every aspect of the day of his birth. The loss of our decisions due to a birthday celebration is stunning and sober him is what make plain that there is nothing good about the day of man's birth there is nothing good about when a man is birthed job openly cursed the day he was born this will be so to have greater meaning later in this article why somebody say curse be the day i was born why some who are familiar with those accounts attempt to explain them away by saying that there is no statement continent within them that directly prohibit birthday celebrations <laughs> oh yes my friend they also ignore job comment described on the previous paragraph it is true that the above paragraph the above scripture do not contain a direct condemnation of birthday starting with the phrase you should not or something similar but consider for a moment the central lesson of each of this account they represent the only three birthday party described on the entire scripture from genesis to revelation only three account is recorded at the birthday celebration on the scripture when something disaster 
absolutely disaster occur on each of occasion. If Yahweh fair birthday celebration with something positive and good, why would he have recorded one other account where something either good or positive happened? Yet, there is no such account. One good thing happened and anybody of celebration of their birthday. Why? Why? Why Messiah Yeshua himself never celebrate his birthday? If birthday celebration is okay, why? There is no good thing happen and somebody else. Only three occasions. Only some of you who are familiar with those accounts attempt to explain them away by saying that there is no statement contained within them that directly prohibit birthday celebration. They also ignore Job's comment described on the previous paragraph. It is true that the above scripture do not contain a direct condemnation of birthday starting and the phrase you shall not or something similar to be considered for a moment. The central lesson of each of this account, they represent the only three birthday parties described on the entire scripture from Genesis to Revelation. It was absolutely disaster occur on each one. Pharaoh, King Herod, and Job, seven sons and three daughters get killed on the celebrating of birthday. My beloved, if you have a fair birthday celebration with something positive and good, why would Yahweh have recorded one other account where something either good or positive happened? Yet, there is no such account. If a Messiah should have come in on the earth, he don't give us example to obey and observe celebrating of birthday, pagan's holiday. What about the birthday of well-known scripture figure? Surely, the scripture record that the birth, the birthday of his almost important figure. Does Yahweh not want those who serve him to recognize the most important birthday? Let's search to the birthday of some of Yahweh's greatest servant. Let's say if on the scripture mention any of our by Yahweh greatest seventh birthday, when they celebrate their birthday on the scripture. Can you find out? Abraham is referred to be three times in the Bible as, as Yahweh friend. And he's so called the father of all of us. Many verse demonstrate that Abraham will play a very important role when the kingdom of Yahweh is established on earth as Yahshua, second coming. However, the scripture does not record the birthday of this truly good servant of Yahweh, Abraham. Why he never had slept with his birthday? About Adam. Moses was referred to as a meekness man on the face of the earth, according to the book of Numbers, 12 chapter verse 3. Many verse describe the scripture figure and virtually everyone is familiar with him. The scripture does not tell us when he was born either. Why the scripture never say when Adam was born? When Eve was born? When Seth was born? When Noah was born? Why they never tell us nothing about the birthday? But they told you they die at this age. But never record it about the day of the birth. Why? Why? Why today we have to celebrate birthday? And the ancient time, people do have no calendar. They don't even remember when they are born anyway. My friends, the birthday party is just not the pagans. I buy away on the book of Jeremiah, 10 chapter verse 2, said that, do not follow the way of the hidden. Why we keep on follow the way of the hidden, the way of the pagans. My friends, Moses was referred to as a mythos, man of the face of the earth. Moses was walking with Yahweh. Many verses describe the scripture figure, and virtually everyone is familiar with him. But the Bible does not tell us when Moses was born either. 
when Abraham was born, when Adam was born, when Noah was born, what day? Why did he never see it? Nobody. The famous King David is called a man after Yahweh on mine. Most of the scripture describe the life of this man. Yahweh used David to recall a great many of the psalm. When the kingdom of Yahweh is established on earth, prophecy record that King David would rule the tribe of Israel. Call that the house of Israel, surely the Bible record the date that the story figure was born, is not not know. So a King David is the man of Yahweh on mine. We see heart. But why King David was Yahweh after Yahweh on mine or on heart? Choose one. On the book of Acts 13, chapter verse 21 and 22. Why there is the death of King David was born. Why King David ever sleep at his birthday? There is not one verse of scripture describe anyone celebrating the birth of this righteous man. If you are righteous and no one know you as a righteous to celebrate your birthday, why Messiah to our family never celebrate his birthday? Why Joseph as a representative of Yahshua father never sleep with his birthday. About Miriam, the woman who carried Yahshua, why she never sleep with Yahshua birthday? Why, if it's so important, why not celebrate it? My friends, there is not one verse of scripture describe anyone celebrating the birth of this righteous man. In fact, the scripture is silence on the exact date of the birth of all Yahweh faithful servant. They are silent. They never say when no one was born. No one. It starts from Adam until today. No one of the servants of Yahweh has exactly time they give birth to them. Why today people ask to celebrate their birthday? Because of the knowledge of Satan, because of the following of Satan. My beloved, and listen, listen carefully. Let's take a list. There is not one verse of scripture describing anyone celebrating the birth of this righteous man. In fact, the scripture is silence on the exact date of the birth of all Yahweh faithful servant. Let's say about Abraham. Let's say about Adam, Eve, Seth, Noah, Joseph, Abraham, Yitzhak, Sarai, Yaakov, Abel, Samuel, Job, Esther, Yitzhak, Yeshayahu, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Peter, Paul, James. We can go on and on. Oshea, Malachi. We can go to on and on and on. Salomon, every single servant of Yahweh. We can go on and on. Especially Yahshua brothers and the words of the apostle. Even the bad death of Yahshua goes unrecorded in the scripture. Why? Why today we have to celebrate something is against our creator. The Christmas birth party is the same thing when we celebrate our birthday. Those celebrated did wise men present the baby, Yahshua, his birthday? No. A study, any reputation of encyclopedia visit, when stock public library, and you discover that birthday was celebrated by the pagans and people, not according to. Messiah Yahshua, not according to Yahweh word, but according to the paganists. It is common to suppose that there were birthday presents for baby Yahshua, but it's what the scripture actually said. Do there's a birthday when they go ahead, they give Yahshua a gift? Do that was his birthday? Or he was already born already, they just give him a gift. So do the scripture mention when the wise men go on to bring a gift? So they will celebrate his birthday? Show me the scripture. Show me the verse. Prove all things. Prove all things. 
my friends, do not trust any spirit, but test the spirit. If anyone do not speak according to the word of Yahweh, that means something is really wrong with that person. My friends, that was the scripture exactly see about not. Also, the Ewa will have tear his birthday. Notice that he referred to Yahshua as a young child, rather than a baby, than an infant. This one of more reason that they give birth to him could not have been birthday present. If when they go, Yahshua was already a young child. An infant and a young child is a two word, it's a different word. This is no more reason that the gift but to him could have been birthday present. A long standing ancient custom of the East was to represent gift when one come into the presence of a king, not because of birthday. These men understood that they were in the presence of a king of Israel. The scripture has many examples of people sending gifts to kings or presenting them upon arrival into king presence. This custom is common today when ambassadors of others come into the presence of a world leader, they always bring them some gift. Finally, notice that there is nowhere on the scripture they present into him gift. The people of the is never approach the present of king and good personage without present in their hand. The custom is often noticed that in the Old Testament and still prevail in the East and is some of the newly discovered Southeast Island gifts were customarily present to king. They will intend behind this example to be clear. Yahweh does not even record that the exact day his son was born. And nowhere on the scripture can you find example of Messiah to our disciple or the renewed testament the children of Israel celebrate the birthday party. However, Yahweh does not tell us exactly month and day when his son died. My friends, expect it all true, the children of Israel to observe the day of annually, the same month and the same date. My friends, there is so many misinterpretations. Think for a moment. Every year, billions of prophets in prison celebrate supposedly the birthday of Messiah Yahshua. Yet, they not properly observe the day that Messiah Yahshua died. Which Yahweh clearly identify a record in the great details and its word. Yahweh command his followers to observe this memorial annually. Yahshua warning about such misguided prophets and questions, saying, These people annoy me with their lips, but the heart are far away from me. Oh, but, and then, and then do they worship me by teaching the tradition of men in order to lay down aside the commandment of Yahweh. You owe the tradition of men. Each year, during Christmas and Easter season, Messiah Shua warning is proven right. And Yahweh view your birthday, how Yahweh view your birthday of celebrating. We have not established that the scripture will call negative example of birthday celebration, or even identify him the birthday of all of Yahweh's faithful servant, including Messiah Yahshua. But what does the scripture specifically say about your date of birth? Most people think that the day of one birth is special. Celebrating it certainly does seem and feel like the right thing to do. Yet, Solomon was inspired to write, A good name is better than precious one man. And the day of death, instead of the day of one birth, Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 1. Yeah, that's what it said. Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 1 stated that most, most people think that the day of one birth is special. Yes, 
they tended what you say is a statement they make it's a special day they must say it but the special day but they do not know what behind the birthday most people think that the day of one but is a special celebrating it certainly does not seem and feel like the right thing to do yet slomo was empire to why a good name is better than precious what many and the day of death instead of the day of one birth like job jeremiah also cursed the day of his own birth curse be the day wherein i was born let not the day wherein my mother bear me be blessed wherefore came i forth out the womb to see labor and saw that my base should be consumed and with shame and the day of our death is better than the day of our birth and some of yahweh greater seven say that the birthday was far from being a special day then all special can this day be according to the scripture it is not time to express joy sing and expect gift simply because one is born into the world on a specific day the day of men dead we have just read that the scripture explained the day of a man death is better than the day he was birthed it is a stunning statement most people do not think of death as particularly wonderful it's happened to a family members or close friend it is usually a day of terrible sadness and emotions no matter how or when death come no one celebrate the event the scripture describes death as the enemy and defeat consider some of the following verses describing death keep in mind that the scripture is still say this day is better than the day of birth the dead the day you are die is better than the day you are born my friends there is so many misinterpretation salomon also wrote as he comfort to his mother womb naked so he will turn to go as it's come and so take nothing is liberal which he may carry away in his hand and it's also a sore evil that all print has come so can go with profit at the labor for the one that's sound like a day to look forward to the scripture is still said that the day this verse described is better than the day one birth the apostle paul was inspired to why for the ways of sin that you earn by breaking your will is death death is a penalty for sin it's not picture with the scripture as a day of trial or as so many like two pictures as a friend one meet at the end of life i wait paul also would for all have sinned and come short of the steam of yahweh is appointed into men want to die sin lead to dead john was inspired toward the definition of sin who overcoming sin transgression the commitment for sin is the transgression of the commitment the penalty the ways of sin is dead this is not an even to look forward to celebrate my friends there is so many things happen to our day scripture we're going to go to one after one to see the book of job three chapter jobs son used to hold feasts in the house on the birthday and this will instead the three sisters to eat and drink with them verse 5 when this celebration ended sometime after several days job would purify his children's job would get up and early in the morning and offer a burnt offering for each of them for job said to himself curse yahweh in the heart perhaps my children live and sin perhaps my children have sinned and have cursed yahweh and the mind this was job regular practice verse 13 one day why job's son was celebrating the birthday and his daughter were eating and drinking why and the oldest brother's birthday 
party celebration. Verse 18. While they were still speaking, another messenger arrived with this news. Your sons and daughters were celebrate the birthday in the oldest brother's house. Verse 19. Suddenly, a powerful wind swept in front of the wilderness, and it's the house on all sides. The house collapsed, and all your children are dead. I am the only one who escaped to touch you. That's when I by Yahweh, patience went out of your abomination. Job 2, chapter verse 1. Afterward, Job opened his mouth and cursed the day he was born. Joyce opened his mouth. Job 3, chapter verse 1. Job opened his mouth and cursed the day his mother was given birth. We keep on going. Job 3, chapter verse 3. Let the day perish or wish hours to be born. And the night we say a boy is conceived. Job will say, I don't care what my mother would not close his feet and kill me instead of for me to bring me in this world. Job 3, chapter verse 11. Why did I not die in bed? Comfort from the womb and inspire. Why? Listen what Job said. Listen, those who celebrate their birthday, those who ignore Yahweh words, those who rejected Yahweh word is the last warning to all of you. And is it coming? Listen, you're going to be okay. But disobey our by Yahweh. My friends, the same way Yahweh sent a tornado, kill Job is servant. Job was Yahweh's servant. If Yahweh can kill Job 10 children, Take about two who don't even a servant for Yahweh yet. Who don't even want to obey Yahweh commandments. Take what's going to happen to you. It's better you are in Yahweh's side or you are in Satan's side. It's better you follow Yahweh or you're going to pay the price and the consequence with your children with you. My friends, listen carefully. And Yahweh doesn't play. If you take Yahweh play, test Yahweh. And you will see. Job 3, chapter verse 11. Why did I not die at birth? Comfort from the worm and expire. Job asking, I do not know why I was not die when one mother gave me birth. And you enjoy your birthday. Uh, do you know how old are you? Do you know who you are? Do you know why Abaya will create you? He create you just to come and to enjoy yourself. By follow all the pagan tradition and pagan custom. Did our barriers say do not follow the way of the hidden? Why follow them? Why doing the same thing our Bayah way? They do not follow those people ways. Do not bow down to the gods. Do you know what birthday mean? You're going to see what birthday mean. Let's go on. The book of Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. Curse be the day when I was born. Let the day not to be blessed. When my mother gave me birth, oh, hallelujah. Today, everywhere, every day, people say, oh, say happy birthday to these people. Happy birthday for what? I'm not a pagan. I'm a servant of Yahweh. I don't celebrate birthday. Because I don't believe in birthday. Why is Jehovah witness even the no good, but they don't believe in birthday celebration? Do anybody think about that? Jehovah is just no good, but they don't bow down before a flag to swear before a flag. That's idolizing. My friends, listen what Jeremiah say. Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. Curse be the day. Jeremiah say, Curse be the day when I was born. Let the day not be blessed when my mother gave me birth. Let that day be blessed. So you take your celebrate your birthday is a blessing, no, is a curse. According to the book of Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14, curse be the day when I was born. Curse be the day when I was born. 
Let the day not be blessed. Let the day not be blessed when my mother gave me birth. You only seen that scripture? Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. Can anybody quote it for me, please? Quote Jeremiah 20, chapter for me, verse 14. Quote it for me. To be a witness. I want you to quote this verse for me, please. Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. Quote that verse for me, please. Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. To be a witness. To be a witness. To everybody who celebrate their birthday, their daughter's birthday, they keep the they keep daughter just like a God. You're going to know when you celebrate your birthday what it means to Yahweh, what you do to Yahweh. Please, somebody, please. I want you to quote for me the book of Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. Put it on the screen for me, please. Let's see what Jeremiah is saying. Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. I wait. The book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 14. Quote it for me, please. The book of Jeremiah, for those who celebrate the birthday, let's see what Jeremiah say. If you understand what he say, and you're going to be stopped by celebrating your birthday and your children's birthday. And you're going to stop them to celebrate them. Because something going to be happening. When Yahweh's sin is running, Yahweh never do anything without sending his, a warning to his people. Make sure you're going to strike. Next time you do it, I'm going to strike you. In the time of ignorance, I buy Yahweh over look at it. Now, commend it. Why all his servants of Yahweh never have a day of celebration? Cursed be the day. Thank you. Hallelujah. Cursed be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my mother give me birth. Hallelujah. Cursed be the day I have born. May the day my mother give me birth not be blessed. Ooh, hallelujah. So today, thank you, my beloved Nick, and thank you, my beloved Christopher. If I buy our make, if Jeremiah make a statement, he said, Curse be the day wherein I was born. So why people ask to celebrate the birthday? And he said, The day my mother gave me birth, not going to be blessed. Because it's already a curse. When you celebrate your birthday, it's a curse, it's not a blessing. Curse be the day wherein I was born. Curse is the day therein I was born. Curse be the day I was born. May the day my mother give me birth not be blessed. May the day of my mother was give me birth was never blessed. So when you celebrate your birthday, you put a curse on you. You know each time you celebrate it. That's why after Yahweh tired, Yahweh patient one out on the job children and he killed them. Ten of them in one split second. If Yahweh do not spare job children, do you think Yahweh going to spare you and your children? Think about that. Think about that. When Yahweh patient one out to warn you, and you I refuse to listen. Every single day, oh, this is my birthday. How do you know it's your birthday? Do Jeremiah say, curse be the day when I was born? Let the day not to be blessed. Let the day not to be blessed when my mother give me birth. Not, I'm a friend. I mean, come on. This scripture today is a witness to all of you. If you keep celebrating your birthday, you gonna remember the book of Jeremiah 2014 when it sound in your ear when you say with your birthday, make sure you are gonna kill you. I'm telling you, I don't send you a message. I'm telling you, Yahweh patient is run out of this wicked world. But I refuse to listen to him and obey him. Bad the bad the birthday. Do you know how old are you? Do you know who you are? My friends, listen. The book of Jeremiah 15, chapter verse 10. Woe to me, my mother, that who have given me birth as a man of suave, a man of contentions to all the land 
to as not learn, not as men lent money to me. Yet everyone cursed me. Everyone cursed me. My friend, the book of Job, 10th chapter, verse 18. Why then have you brought me out of the womb? Would that I die and know as I send me? Why Job say to his mother, why you bring me into this world? Why you put me into your womb? Why that you don't kill me and no eyes see me? Why? Do you want to know why the job was sleep with its birthday? No. Instead of his regrets, his mother was giving birth because of what he go through. It is not the time about of celebration, the time we are living. It's the time of begging Yahweh fast and prayer. Put your knees on the ground and pray Yahweh. Because what is going to be coming, my friend? Hmm. You don't see nothing yet. There's going to be the tribulation and the great tribulation to come. There's the four horses. There is the seven plagues, the seven seal, the seven trumpets. There is going to be a terrible time happen nobody will never see before. And set up to celebrate your birthday. You better be crying every day, begging Yahweh for mercy. Begging Yahweh for having salvation upon you. Because so what's going to be happening all over the earth? And whatever you see, it's nothing. It's not even the beginning yet. My friends, Job say, Why then have you brought me out of the womb? Would that I had died and no eyes as see me? Job said, Why you bring me on this earth for? Why you don't kill me? And no eyes see me, drop me in the garbage and set up to bring me into life. My beloved, listen. The book of Jeremiah 20, chapter verse 18. Why did I ever comfort humble woman to look on trouble and sorrow so that my day has been spent in shame? My friends, Jeremiah come to a conclusion. Jeremiah come to something. He said, why did I ever come from a troubled room? Jeremiah said, to look on troubles and sorrow so that my days have been spent in shame. Those today who are celebrating their birthday. Listen to the book of Jeremiah. Why did I have come for trouble worms to look on troubles and sorrow? So my days have been spent in shame. Look what the statement Jeremiah do as a servant of Yahweh, as a prophet, as a great servant of Yahweh, not servant of Satan, but he cursed the day he was born. Why? Why to the this generation, there is only one thing they say. It's about the celebration of the birthday. Birthday cake. Cake is pagans. Candles is pagans. Happy birthday. There is no such happy on the scripture. The scripture says, this is the day Yahweh has made. Let us be rejoiced and be glad in it. Not happy. Anything they tell you happy is pagans. Happy birthday, happy Martin Luther King birthday, happy days, happy days, all the happy are pagans. This is the day Yahweh has made. Let us be rejoiced and be glad in it. Not happy, there's no happy birthday, it's pagans. Happy holidays is pagan. There's no such happy holidays on the scripture. Show me where the scripture says happy holidays. Show me that. Where the scripture say happy holidays? Where the scripture say happy birthday? Do we must follow the word of Yahweh? What is the word of Yahweh? It's a manual instruction. Just like when you buy anything, they give you a manual book. Yahweh gives you a manual book to follow. But we are refused to follow the manual book and pretend everything is okay. It's not. My friends, this is the beginnings of Yahweh going to be struck. Every one of you, be ready. To bury your son and your daughters. 
who sleep with their birth day. It's a, it's a warning. Yahweh don't please. My friends, the book of Psalm 51, chapter verse 5. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and sin my mother conceived me. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity. You know what iniquity mean, right? And, and send my mother conceive me. Are you celebrating your birthday? Are you hear what King David said? Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity. And, and send my mother conceive me. And you want to celebrate your birthday and sit up to cry? Show me where a servant of Yahweh. One of the scripture. Celebrate their birthday. Or give them the time, the date of the birthday. My friend, the book of John 9, chapter verse 24 is still dead. They answer him, you were born entirely in sin. And are you teaching us? So they put him out. When they say, so I was try to teach the Pharisees, the teacher of the law. They tell them, you are born in sin. And now you try to teach us? Get out of here. They kick him out because they say he was born in the adult tree, and that was not true. That's why men think him. That's why they talk. Now, let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter, verse 1. A good name is better than a good old man, and the day of one death is better than the day of one is birth. The day of the man death is better than the day the man if give birth. So it is better for you to die instead of for you to live in. Listen, the book of Ecclesiastes, first chapter, verse 2 and 3. Listen carefully. The book of Ecclesiastes, first chapter, verse 2 and 3. So I congratulate the dead who are already dead. More than the living who are still living. But better off the both of them is the one who has never exist or never born. Who has never been see the evil activities that is done under the sun. Listen what Solomon say. So I congratulate the dead who are already dead. I congratulate the dead. Who are already dead more than the living who are still living but better off than both of them is the one who was never has never never born who has never seen the evil activities that is under the sun why it is as the king of solomon as a wise man with that statement, he congratulates the dead who are already dead. Then the living who are still living, but it's better off. The both of them, you don't die or you don't burn, don't even exist, don't come into this world. No, 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 don't come in. He said it was as never, it was better than a man never be born who has never seen the evil activities that is done under the sun. My friends, the book of Job, 3, chapter verse 16. Okay, like as miscarriage is this card, I will not be as an infant that never saw light. Just say to me, I don't know why you commit abortion. Why you don't kill me? Why you don't commit miscarriage? Why you don't abandon me? And this God, I will not be as an infant that never saw light. Why is your see dead? Why you don't commit abortion? Why you bring me on this earth for? Why I will not be an infant that never saw light? Why is it dead? Job 10, chapter verse 19. I should have been as taught as I not been carried from warm to warm. I should have been as taught as has not been carried from warm to warm. Mean, you're giving birth. 
and then now I'm suffering. And later, I'm going to get on the tomb. Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. It is better to go to the hours of mourning instead to go to the hours of feasting. For that is the destiny of everyone. The loving is the living should take this to mind. Why King Solomon say it's better to spend your time at the funeral home instead of parties, birthday, since that is the end of every man and their events should take this to mind. Why? Why Ecclesiastes? Why the book of Solomon said that? Ecclesiastes 7 chapter verse 2, please. For the reminder, I believe you, I'm going to sit I'm going to close with that one. I know you're probably tired, but hey, the truth must be within. I would like anyone, please, to see, to quote from me the book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. It's better to spend your time at the funerals instead of parties, since that is the end of every man, and the living should take days to mind. Please, anyone, please? Anyone, please? Anyone, please. Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. Almost done. Almost done. Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. And to see what the word said. It's not my, it is written. The word written for our instructions. Whatever written on the past is just written for our instructions. A birthday is only for the pagans. Our bearers, the children of Israel, do not follow the way of the people who was living on the land of Egypt. And do not follow the way of the people in the land you're going to be living, you dwell in. Those people who are living in the United States of America, stop by celebrating birthday. Those who claim themselves to be an Israelite, if you are a really Yahweh chosen people, if you do not know the truth, now you know the truth. There's going to be no excuse. There's going to be no why. And Yahweh is going to be condemn you. And Yahweh is going to be struck you. And Yahweh is going to be kill you. And Yahweh is not going to care. Because if Yahweh do not spare Job, his servant, 10 children, just thinking about what Yahweh can do. Yahweh do not compromise. You obey his word. In the time of ignorance, Yahweh overlook. But now it commands every man everywhere on the earth to repent from their wicked ways. Why? Because he has already appointed a time to strap you down. Those who are refused, knowing birthday is pagan. Birthday is a curse. As Jeremiah said, curse be the day I was give birth. And I hope my dead of birth never be blessed. A curse in its day it was birth. And now it's okay for you to be silly with your birthday. Everyone on the Facebook, I'm sick and tired myself. People sleep with their birthday. I used to be sleep with my birthday because I do not know. But when Yahweh teaching me that, I say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm repent. Now, thank you to our by Yahweh to reveal to me the truth. And the truth will set me free. I would ask somebody please to quote for me the book of Ecclesiastes 7 chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes, 7 chapter verse 2, please. I'm waiting. It's better to spend your time in the funerals instead of party, since that is the end of every man, and the living should take this to mind. I want it to be a witness for everybody to see that on the screen. Those who love to celebrate birthday, those who love every day, birthday, oh, it's my birthday, my birthday, birthday party, get the gift, get the base. It's only bad pagans. Abaya will warning his people not to follow the way of the Canaanites, the way of the Atatites, the way of the Jebusites, the way of the Amorites, the way of Atites, the way of the fathers, the God, your fathers, your ancestors who serve beyond the Jordan rivers, the God of the United States of America. Anyway, I'm just waiting on the book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 12. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2.
The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter verse 2. The book of Ecclesiastes 7, chapter and 2. Thank you. It is so better to go to the hours of mourning than to go to the hours of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, my dear brothers. Yes, it's better to spend your time at funerals than all parties. After all, everyone dies, so the living should take this into heart. Thank you. Hallelujah. It is better to spend your time at the funerals, at the morning, morning men where people cry, where people die. That's why morning. That's why there is so many translations. It's better to spend your time at funerals than if at parties, at birthday. After all, every person die. So this living shall take days to mine. My friends, thank you, Abba Yahweh, for this word. It's better to spend your time at funerals than at birthday parties. After all, everyone dies. So the living should take days to mine. It's so better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the hours of feasting means birthday celebrations. For that is the end of all men, and the men shall be taken that to heart. My friends, the book of Jeremiah 16, chapter verse 8, you must not when there is birthday party and sit down with them to eat and drink. Listen, that's the warning. Jeremiah 16, chapter verse 8, you must not enter a house when there is a birthday celebration and sit down with them to eat and drink. You must not enter a house when there is birthday celebrations and sit down with them to eat and drink. My friends, why is celebration of birthday is pagans? It's because when you celebrate your birthday, you make yourself as a god. Remember, Satan's deception was on the garden. Was told if the day you disobey Yahweh commandment, you will be as a god. By celebrating your birthday, you make yourself, you idolize yourself. By celebrating your birthday, you this or you ignore Yahweh's first covenant to the children of Israel. The first covenant with the children of Israel stated that you must have no other gods but me. But by celebrating your birthday, everybody when you give and celebrate your birthday, you make yourself as a god. You idolize your own self. Are you there? You violated the first covenant I bear with as met with you. You become a god by celebrating your birthday. And second commitment, Yahweh say you must not bow down to anything he create. By anybody coming kiss you or oh, happy birthday, you idolize yourself, you become a god, people worship you and bow down to you. Are you there? Only Yahweh, you must be bowed down only to Yahweh. You must worship Yahweh. How many of you who worship Yahweh? How many of you who praise Yahweh? How many of you who listen to Yahweh? But every one of you, whatever is wrong, is always good in your eyes. You must have no other gods. 
For the scripture say, in the latter days, men gonna be lover of themselves. By saving your birthday, that means you you love yourself, you become a idolizer, you become a god, you idolize yourself. You love yourself and now you celebrate yourself. My friends, do not ignore the word of Yahweh. It's a manual instruction to you. Stop rejecting the word of Yahweh. Stop rejecting the salvation. Stop by making yourself look like a god. By celebrating your birthday, you make yourself as a god as Satan was promised to Eve. The day you disobey your creator. The day you rejected your creator covenant and you will be as a god. By celebrating your birthday, you rejected Yahweh's first covenant to you. That should not any other god but me. You make yourself as a god. People bring you gifts, bow down to you and worship you by celebrating happy birthday my friends it's a warning and it's a comment never again in your life if you are a servant of yahweh to celebrate your birthday otherwise get ready for you to bury your sons and your daughters or even yourself if you celebrate it because yahweh gonna strike you for in a time of ignorance listen carefully yahweh overlook at it but now when now Yahweh command it, command it, not give you a choice to repent from your wicked ways. Otherwise, get ready to pay the price. Two thousand years ago, he said to us, Father, Father, forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. You don't say, Father, forgive them because they know what they're doing. But forgive them because they do not know what are they doing. My friends, it is a time now. If you are the children of Israel, if you are Yahweh chosen people, to stop by listening to others, the pagans people, to follow their ways, to do the way they practice the custom, celebrating a birthday. No servant of Yahweh on the scripture, from Genesis to Revelation, ever recorded about birthday. Why today, these generations, is about party? In the latter day, men are going to be lover of themselves and set up to serving the Almighty Creator. My friends, stop making yourself look like a God. Stop idolizing yourself. Birthday is represents yourself, it's idolizing yourself. It makes yourself look like a God. When somebody brings you a gift, party, they make you as a king, as a God. Remember, Satan is doing only one thing. The thief is coming not but to steal, kill, and destroy. We say, so I say, I'm coming not even to give you life, but I'm coming to give you life more abundantly. It's a time to teshuva. It is a time to say, birthday, adios hasta la vistas. I see you, none over. It's a time to start by celebrating your birthday. It's start by look yourself as a god. When you make yourself as a god, a buyer will automatically set his face against you because you go against his word. You ignore his manual book to you, the scripture. Nowhere on the scripture where Adam will celebrate birthday, where Seth will celebrate birthday, where Abraham will celebrate birthday, where Daniel, where any of his servants will celebrate his birthday. Even Yahshua Amashia never celebrate their birthday. Why? Why only three occasions only? There is a birthday, but there is something very terrible, disaster happen. That was on the times of Pharaoh. He hang his cup chief baker. In the time of Job, Abayawe killed Job ten children, seven sons, and three daughters because of celebrations of birthday and the last thing was happened on the birthday that was the king award when he was celebrate his birthday and choose a warrior to dance for him and promise i will give you anything you want without knowing what was going to be happening when she finished dance he said what do you want a mother say 
ask him for the head of John the Baptist. They said, no, 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 no. He said, remember, you are a king. Whatever a king say, he cannot back up. He don't have no choice but to let this happen. That day, a great servant of Yahweh, life was lost. That was John the Baptist's head, was cut and put on the plate to give to Eoria, a prostitute who danced for Ewell. My friends, if you are a servant of Yahweh, be obedient and listen to your Creator. Perhaps in all the time you've been celebrating your birthday, you do not know as Abba Yahweh for forgiveness. Because Abba Yahweh against the pagans, the hidden custom, the practice of them. That's why he said, do not follow their ways. Do not mix with them. Do not yoke together with them. Do not get a wife or a, a, a son for your daughter, a wife for your son with them, because Abba Yahweh hate them. My friends, may Abba Yahweh be with you. May Abba Yahweh start by making yourself look like a God. Start by bow down to anything Abba Yahweh create. When you celebrate your birthday, you make yourself as a God. You idolizing yourself. So you validate Yahweh first and second covenant. Stop. S T O P. On the time of ignorance, Abba Yahweh overlook at it. Now commit every man everywhere to repent from their wicked ways, because Yahweh has already appointed a time to judge those who are with you to be sent to him. Abba Yahweh, thank you for everything. Thank you for your word. Thank you to reveal your people. Those who are everywhere in the world, especially those who are in the United States of America, who love to celebrate their birthday. Everything's about, oh, this is my birthday, my birthday. But nowhere on the scripture, you are authorized, any of your servants, any of your people, as ever, from Adam until to the book of Revelation, John, as ever, nobody ever knew when the day of birth anyway to even celebrate them. Even Messiah Yahshua Amashiach, he coming on this earth, they say he lived 33 years. Never once, even Joseph or Miriam or his friend or him himself has ever celebrated his birthday. When they a wise man would bring his gift, it's not about the birthday because he was already a young child, not an infant. So to say they bring him gift on his birthday, he was already a young child. So that cannot be represent his birthday present. And nobody ever celebrate Yeshua's birthday. Neither he ever say people to celebrate his birthday. Christianity is the one who bring all those guy confusions. Come from pagans, come from Rome, come from the Egypt people, come from the Canaanite, the Atata, the Zebusa, the Amorites, that's the way all them come from, but not according to Yahweh's word. May Abba Yahweh be with you. May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abba Yahweh keep his face shy upon you, be gracious to you. For those who listen to him, remember, Jeremiah said, Cursed be the day I was born. I hope that day I born will never be blessed. So when you say it, but your birthday, you put curse in yourself. And soon or later, you're going to put a consequence. Abba, we thank you for your work. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the bread of life. Thank you for the viewers. Thank you for the listeners. Thank you for Abba, with all those who are listening everywhere in the world. For those who was thinking it's okay to celebrate their birthday. Now you reveal to them the truth. And the day of judgment, there's going to be no skills. In the day of Yahweh vengeance, there's going to be no excuse. Abba Yahweh, I know you have a mercy to those who are in ignorance, but you will never have a mercy to those who are arrogant, self arrogance, to those who I get too much pride. Oh, I'm going to stay with my birthday anyway. They know the consequences. I know what you do to King Belshazzar when you are down, the end writing on the verse, your kingdom are bench waiting. To and then you kill him the same night. They start you kill the ten children of Job as your servant. You don't just have any compassion, any love. Because your patience was run out of ten. Because you was tired. Abaya, we are asking to bless those who bless you. To those who honor you, to those who respect you, to those who fear you, Abaya, we, and obey your commitment, obey your word. I'm asking you to protect them, to, to 
save them, to keep them alive from the destruction of this wicked world. We do have nothing to do. The reward what is bad for good, darkness for light, and the promised polygamy they say is okay when you say, if any man look a woman on the way of a loss, he has already committed adultery. They promote adultery, they promote polygamy, they promote what is bad for good. I buy away for all those who give to your ministry. All those I buy away who make everything possible. I know you are the one who use them, the giver, those who donate it, those who support your ministry, those who are zeal for your ministry, those who preserve your ministry, those who are working for your ministry. All those I buy away, I'm asking you, bless them. Just like when the wind blows up by our way, that's the same way I tell you to send your blessing upon them. So they can always have a by our way to help your ministry. Whatever those who give a penny, those who give a thousand, those who give 500, those who give 50, those who give one dollar, those who don't have to give a by our way, I'm asking you to bless them. Whatever the circumstances might be, those who give. I'm asking you to give them 100 fold of what they give. They can always have an order to give to your ministry. And your people who are scattered on the four corners of the earth can know the truth, can know about it. But this celebration is nothing but pagans. It's against your word. You never prescribe your people, your servant, to celebrate any of the birthday. May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abbeawe keep his face shy upon you, be gracious to you. May Abbeawe live his continent, you shalom. Beshem Yahshua Amashiach. Shalom Anahem. Beshem Yahshua Amashiach. Sir Shalom. Beshem Yahshua Amashiach. Shalom. In the name of Yahshua Amashiach, the name, one day, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Yahshua. Yahshua Amashiach is the only way. Not Yahwasa, not Yahwasi, not TMH, not the Most High, not Jehovah, not Allah, not Buddha, not Corinth, not Jesus, not Ihi, not Washin, not Lord, not Jesus, not Yahshua, but only Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh salvation. There is only one name, one name, give above. Any man can receive salvation is the name of Yahshua. My friends, the Abba Yahweh bless you. I see you later at 6 o'clock. I am Messenger Daniel. It is the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Say Shabbat Shalom. Shalom Alehem. Peace be today. Shavua Tov. Yahweh bless. And shalom, may Abba Yahweh keep you safe. He bless you, and it's set apart day. In the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, peace be to those who observe and obey the commandment of Yahweh. My friends, let's go now, and let's see Abba Yahweh say to the children of Israel. <music> Birthday party. Come out of birthday parties. Birthday is nothing but pagans. Did you ask what's the main situation? About Abraham, the best friend of Yahweh. About Moshe. When they celebrate their birthday, show me the record. 
Poof all things according to the scripture. Start say with your body is only three occasions that they will celebrate. That was fellow birthday. He hangs the chief of his baker. He killed him. The second one was job sons. Your job children. That will kill seven job sons and three daughters. One split second. The third one was a world birthday, king a world birthday. And what was happened? A great servant of Yahweh was lost his life. John the Baptist who was at Ben. God put on the plate of going to Yehoja. Stop saying with your birthday. Are you like it? You don't like it? It is what it is, my friend. It's just what I say. He asked for the time to reveal the truth to his people. Those who receive it, who obey, are going to say that if you don't obey it, you're going to be destroyed. Yahweh going to kill you. Yahweh don't spare John's seven sons and three daughters. You think Yahweh going to spare you and your son and your daughters? And think about that. It's a warning, it's a comment. You don't think Yahweh will die. Come out of her. Come out for birthday party. Stop by sleep with your birthday. Sunday worship. Valentine's Day, Christmas Day, all those people happy day, Martin Luther King birthday, happy, happy, happy. That's the church happiness. Happiness doesn't exist. So this is the day. Let's just be rejoiced and be glad in it. Come on, Israel. Come out. You are the children of Israel, or you are the fake one. Those who change their name and who are not really the children of Israel. If you are the children of Israel, the chosen people, it is a must to observe and obey Yahweh's commandment. If not, Yahweh is going to kill you. Telling you, I don't send you a letter. I will give you a warning and commandment. It is a must. Remember, Job seven sons and three daughters. Why they kill? Why Yahweh kill them? Because of the celebration of birthday. Why Pharaoh kill his own brother? Birthday. Why John the Baptist lose his life? Birthday. Remember that. Not in Yahweh with us. Now it's a vengeance is mine. I just give you the message. You can take it. And you can leave it. The choice is yours. But make sure you are going to kill you next time. This is a warning. Come out of her. If you are Yahweh people, it is a must. The choice is just my friend. But Yahweh gonna kill you one way to another. Don't take Yahweh be guys. Don't take Yahweh drunk. No can you can compromise with Yahweh words. The manual book is for everybody. If you are Yahweh people, you must come out from the birthday. Come out from the pagans. Come out of them. My friend, I see you later. May Abba Yahweh bless you. May Abba Yahweh be with you. This is what the word of Yahweh is, my friend. Come on. Are you there? We will sing of your love forever, every day. Yahweh, Yahshua. We will sing of your love forever, every day. Yahweh, Yahshua. Not your birthday, Yahweh love. We will worship. Worship Yahweh, not yourself. Not your son, birthday. Yes, the birthday are nothing but feelings. Yes. Blessed is your mighty name. 
not your name, but Yahweh is not your birthday, but Yahweh is the Sabbath day. We will sing. Not sing our people day, but sing Yahweh love for the Sabbath day. Yahweh, Yahshua, we will sing. Do not follow the way of the hidden forever, every day. Yahweh, Take heed to yourself Yahshua, that you do not stir by following the God. of ignorance are by a way of your look at it. Now command it. Every man, everywhere, no matter where you are, to repent from your wicked ways. And you shall not walk in the matter of the nation. We will worship and exalt you forever. Yes, are by our way only. Worship our by our way only. Yes, hallelujah. Blessed not yourself, not your, your sons, or your daughters, or your mother, or your father, birthday. But Yahweh, and Yahweh, we will see. Do not bow down. Do not walk in anything Yahweh for you. But this liberation is a sort of worshiping yourself. People worship you and bow down to you. Praise we you. will see. Thank you to God. Yahweh, Yahshua. Come on. After this doing of the land of Egypt, wherein you dwell, you must not go. Then after the doing of the land of Canaan, when I am begging you, you shall not do as they do, neither shall you walk in the castle. And you shall not walk in the manner of the nation, I guess you be from you, for the coming all those abominations, and, and therefore I destroy them. Forever, every day, blessed is your mighty name. Sing of your love forever, every day. Yahweh, Yahshua. We will sing of your love forever, every day. Yahweh, Yahshua. Yahweh, Yahshua. That's why 2,000 years ago says, Satan, get behind me, for it is written, Yahweh only, you should be serving. Yahweh only, you should be worshipped. Not you, not your son, but they, not your daughter, not your father, not your mother. Yahweh only, you should be served. And Yahweh only, you should worship. Sleeping so your birthday is about worshiping. It's about bow down. Make yourself look like a god. You validate the first and second commitment of Yahweh. See you later at 6 o'clock.